Yes, it's that time. Let's find and assess a supplier. Okay, so now that we know how to calculate profitability and what variables we're going to find out to actually calculate it, let's talk about finding and assessing a supplier for your item. Like everything in this system, this will be a long-term relationship you're going to build. So it makes complete sense to invest time finding the right supplier for you, who operates in a way that suits your business. As you now know, once we secure our supplier, we can calculate Amazon's costs, as well as our importing costs, which will ultimately tell us what our POI and POR is for each item. Finding and assessing a supplier is thankfully made a lot simpler thanks to the internet. Here's how we find, assess, and work with our suppliers. When we're finding suppliers, we almost always use Alibaba. This is where you'll start too. Over time, you may work with sourcing agents and people like that, but for now, Alibaba is absolutely perfect. When we're looking for suppliers, we want to find two to three suppliers for each item. Why? Because suppliers vary in product and supplier quality. The last thing you want to do is work with a supplier who's difficult and doesn't make life easy for you. Now, ultimately, we will use one supplier, but we will request information from each supplier to get a feel for their pricing and their terms. We'll then take all that information, assess the supplier further, and then make a decision as to who we're going to work with. So we're going to jump over to Alibaba now and show you step by step how we find and assess these suppliers. Let's get started. Here we are at Alibaba.com. The first thing to do when you come to Alibaba is join with a free account. It's simple to join by clicking on the join free link. You can use your personal email to join. You don't need a company email at this stage. You will need to verify your Alibaba account using whatever email address you choose. The email should be one that you can easily access and check because this is where you will send and receive correspondence from suppliers. This is a very simple process, so you can stop this video now and complete the free application process. Then come back to this video once you've completed the steps and continue watching after you've created your Alibaba account. When you're starting a search for products, use the generic term of the product in order to find suppliers for these terms. Earlier, we looked at the example of pool rakes. So I will use this example again here. I will enter pool rake, which is the generic term for this product into the search box. If you don't get the results you're expecting, you might need to try a different search term. And remember that people in the UK and the US will sometimes use different terms to describe the same product. Here are the results for the search on pool rakes. You will see a number of products with pictures to help you determine if you have the right Amazon product you are after. On the right hand side of the results, you will see the names of the companies. You want to work with companies that have more than one year of experience on Alibaba. You can see that some of these companies have 15 years, 10 years and 2 years of experience here on Alibaba.com. In the product area, you may see FOB and MOQ information. You can ignore these numbers because they are usually estimates and not the accurate numbers. You will be reaching out to the, these companies to get the accurate information. When we want to examine a particular supplier and their product, you just click on the title of the product. You can now see more detailed information about the supplier and the product. Here we can ignore the FOB and MOQ numbers again. You will see the port information for this product and that will give you an indication of where in China this company is located. On the right hand side you will see the supplier assessments. You will see different badges to indicate whether the company is a gold supplier, whether there has been an on-site check of the factory and possibly a company video. These are important to see because they give us confidence about this supplier. You can click on the view company profile link. This will show you the more details about the company. You'll also be able to see a picture of the product. We can see other information about the product but we don't want to take this information as being accurate because we want to reach out and confirm these details. We will want to find out the FOB price, the dimensions, weight, and the MOQ, which stands for minimum order quantity. When you're ready to find out more information about this product, we click the company name. This will bring us to the company's main product page. When you go to a company page, you can search for their product categories and see the different products that they produce. You can get a feel for whether or not this company is a manufacturer. If they have a lot of similar products in the same category, or made from the same material, then it is more likely they are a manufacturer. If we see the products are from a wider range of categories, or made from many different types of materials, then they are more likely a trading company. There is nothing wrong with dealing with a trading company. It is simply better to know this from the start. 
You can browse through all the different products and when you find a product that you want to reach out to the company about, you simply click the contact supplier button. Okay, so we've found a supplier. Now it's time to reach out and communicate. We've created a simple script for you to use so that you know exactly what to say to get the conversation moving in the right direction. Here is to personalize the script to suit your company and you personally. Don't feel like you must use this verbatim. Just note the way I'm phrasing the script. Make certain that you insert your specific product information. I know this seems obvious, but it's easy to make mistakes with things like this. One of the most important things I can tell you is to be confident and don't get hung up on being new or being a beginner. Due to the fact you're communicating over email, you have plenty of time to figure out your answers before responding. We were all beginners once, but you have honestly slashed years of time off your learning curve by implementing this system. Finally, you don't necessarily need a company-based email address, such as your name at yourcompany.com. You'll be amazed at how many suppliers you find that don't even have a company email address. If you do choose to buy a domain and use one, then that's fine. But you can simply create a yourcompany at gmail.com and don't worry if your company isn't set up yet. Simply use the company name you intend on using and you'll be fine. Under this video is a button and you click to download the initial contact template you can use to contact the supplier. Click on the product that you want to inquire about. You then click the contact supplier button. This page lets us message the supplier through the Alibaba platform. You then go to the initial contact template and select all the text and copy. Then go back to the Alibaba message page and copy the text into the big box. You then scroll to the top and personalize the message. You address the message to the contact at the factory, which is shown at the top here. You then put the product name in here, which is the pool rake. You then personalize the rest of the message by adding in where your company is based here. Then move down to the bottom and the product here, which again in this example is the pool rake. Then at the very bottom, you can personalize with your name, email address and Skype details. You then click on the send inquiry now button and off goes the message to the relevant factory.